For more than 20 years, CTV has captured the moments that matter in our community. From our studios in St. Clair, you're watching Focus with Paul Dingeman. Well, hello again. Lots of information for you today on this show. We've got uh, Thanksgiving uh, has been around the corner, and now we've got Christmas coming up. So we've got uh, the area, the executive director of the Area Chamber of Commerce for Marine City, I'll get it's one of those days, right? It, the words are all going together, but right. welcome. Right. Thank Chris you, Paul. Patiglio. Patiglio. Nice to meet you. Nice Not to you. see you. Yes. Uh, congratulations on your recent uh, marital bliss. Thank you. Thank you. And we are uh, very happy. Good. That's wonderful. The community is happy. Good. Community good. Is good. Happy. We well, love it. Besides that, uh, we want to talk about what's going on with the area, uh, Marine City Area Chamber of Commerce. Let's do it. Tell okay. me what's happening. So first thing we have is our Twinkling Forest and that's going to be November 30th. Um, and the trees, uh, we make those out of rebar. So they are about- You, you make the trees? Yes, we, wow. one, of, one of our members make the trees for us. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So they're either six foot tall or four feet tall. The six foot trees are $110 and the four foot trees are $90. And you, you purchase that, then you get an acrylic star that goes on top with your name or your business name. Oh, and okay. And then you can get, um, then we, we want it lit up, so we give you a link to order uh, lights from Amazon, and they're solar powered, so every night they go so on at six o'clock. Wow. And then, yep. And then so they go off at midnight. So it's a solar powered light that lasts until midnight. Yep. And they're made out of rebar, so they're pretty substantial. They're very substantial, yes. And then we just can, so you buy it once and then every year we do the same thing. So you just bring your tree back, we put them back up and we have them at 300 Broadway, the old city hall in Marine City. Oh. And they're gonna be there through February. Oh, really? Yes. Through February? Yep. I like yep. it. Because like we it. have our next um, event in February, Fire, Ice and Spice. Yes. So we keep it up for that. We've got the ice skating rink then too. So they're displayed at old city hall. Yep. And they're either four feet or six feet. Yep. 90 bucks or $110. Yep. But that's only a one-time charge. That's only one time. And once you get that, you keep it forever. You keep it forever. And, and then, then if you, you want to bring it back, you bring it back next year and we put them back up. We have people that have bought them for their home as well so that they keep some at home. And then they, we've got some that they have them in our Twinkling Forest. That could, and this is the second year? Yes, second year. Uh, this could become really pretty wild. Yeah. When you look at Sherman yeah. Woods in We're the north hoping. end there in Port We're Huron. Hoping. Yeah. They, they've done a wonderful job. They're raising a lot of money for Salvation yeah. Army now. Right now, we are about 100 trees. You're 100 already? Yeah. Between last year and this year. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. That, that is absolutely. It's called Twinkling Forest. Yep. Great name. Yep. And uh, so you make a one-time investment of 90 bucks or 110 bucks. Yep. And then you buy some lights and, and everybody's business. Yep. And they're solar. Wow. Yeah. Okay, that's the first yes. item. First item. November the 30th. Yep. The next item, that, that world-famous woman by the name of Diane Heinz, yes. who is Love always her. doing things yes. to raise money to help people, Yes, she's got a project. What's hers? We are working with her for our third annual Ugly Sweater Pub Crawl. <laughs> and that's going to be actually November or December 1st, the next day after that. That's going to start at 6 o'clock. Um, and we're doing it a little bit differently than what we've done in the past. Normally we start at one of the local bars in Marine City. This year what we're doing is we're gonna put up a tent in Nautical Mile Park. Oh. Okay, so we, we've been trying to get other bars, restaurants that are not necessarily right on Water Street. Okay. So we have Little Bar, yep. Little Bar Restaurant. Yep. They're going to come down, be in the tent. They're gonna have two signature drinks, which those two signature drinks will be part of the ticket price. Oh. Okay, so you get the two signature drinks. Jet's Pizza of Marine City is going to have pizza there. So again, that's part of the ticket price. And the first 150 people to buy a ticket receive a commemorative shot glass. Oh. <laughs> so again, wear your ugliest sweater, come down, have a great time. We're going to have fire pits out there. In the so the only uh, bar that will be in the tent will be the little, little bar. The little bar, right. Okay. And, and then, then the, the other rest of them you walk around and go around. Just and right. So we've got Anita's, we've got the Sweet Tooth, we've got Marine City Fish Co., we've got Gars, we've got Newport Pub, we've got Riviera. So all of the restaurants are all going to be involved. Well, that, that's a great Gars, idea. Gars, everybody, yeah. Yeah. And any proceeds go to the organization 
called Heinz Hope, which is right, which Diane runs. Yes. So, and, and those are all local families in need. So, yeah. especially for Christmas, right. we're really hoping to raise a lot of money. And she, what she does is she talks to local churches and gets people that need help or that people now, just because she does this all the time, they contact her and yeah. say, look, we know this person needs help. So that's what we're going to do. What about, uh, where do I buy tickets? So the tickets, you can go to our website, which is visitmarinecity.com. Okay, or you can give me a call at the office, and that is 810-765-4501. Okay. okay. And if somebody's not in the office, leave a message, and we'll get back with you. But again, the easiest way to do would just go to our website, which is visitmarinecity.com. That's a good website. Visit Marine Visit City. Marine all City one word. Com. Yep. Dot all com. one word. Yep. Or 810-765-4501. Right. As the chamber and leave a voicemail. Right. Um, okay, so that's on the on Friday this the first, yep. And then on Saturday, Saturday. big day in that's the retail the big one. world. Yes, our Merry Time Christmas event, which is one of our biggest events for the year, and that is Saturday, December second. Okay, and this is actually the seventh year we've done this. Yep. Okay, so super excited. Um, it, it starts at 10 a.m. Okay, and then it's going to go through four ish, five o'clock, four or five o'clock. The first 300 guests that stop into the chamber office will receive a, a swag bag okay, oh. with coupons, little gifts, um, samples. All, this, all Everyone that's involved is donating something and putting it in the bag, so you'll get that bag. Um, we're going to have a ton of craft things for kids um, in a couple different locations. We have characters walking around. We have some Dinsey Princesses. We have Christmas Barbie. We have Grinch. We have Elf. Um, we have carolers that are going to be singing. They're going to start out on the Captain David Lester house on the porch, which is 406 South Main Street. Right. And then from there, they're going to stay there for about an hour. From there, they're going to walk through town up into up Water Street and just walk through the um, town caroling. Wonderful. Um, yep. And then the Pride and Heritage Museum, which is right across the street from the um, Heritage. Um, Captain David Lester House, they're going to be open. So both museums will be open from 10 to 5 to give tours. Um, we've got a ton of um, specials for a lot of our stops have specials going on. Um, we're going to have Santa at the Mariner from uh, 12 to 3. Um, we've got Sweet Tooth is going to have um, hot chocolate, so, um, other coffee, donuts. We're going to have um, s'more kits that are be available per purchase. To go down to Nautical Mile Park because we're in our fire pits down oh, there going, so you good. can get s'mores. Um, a citywide event is that's what we're That's all in the do. second. That's all in the second. Yeah. Okay. We've got pop-ups that are going to be there. Some of our amazing sponsors have just been so overwhelming. La Fontaine, Ford, and Jet Chevy, amazing sponsors. Yeah, they're we great have, people. Yep. Yeah, Vera Grace and Etta May, MC Marketplace, just to say a few. Just amazing sponsors, amazing support from Marine City. Come down, have a great day. One thing we're talking about too is the Inn on Water Street. Yes. Okay. If you go to the pub crawl, they have a special. If you stay there for the night and then go to um, Maritime Days, just make a weekend out of it. Oh yes. Okay. I like. I like that. Yep. Well, there's enough to do. Yeah. Uh, the the merchandise in the in the stores is looking great. Yep. Okay. So one thing too, just again to have additional added things, we've got pop-ups. So some of the um, open storefronts like the uh, Mariner Manor, which is going to yeah. open, okay? They've got some open storefronts. They've graciously allowed us to use them until they have um, people in there or client, um, people renting them or working in there. And we've got some pop-ups in there. So we've got La Fontaine that's gonna be in there. We've got some oh. other um, local artists that are gonna be coming in there. We've got um, some businesses that are in the old Kmart Plaza yeah. that are coming down. Because again, we're trying to involve the whole city, not just it's a specific great idea. area. So we've got them coming down because again, we can't have everybody driving all over. So they're gonna just walk. Yeah. They're, gonna, they're gonna bring this stuff that they have there. Part of the stuff that we have for kids, we've got um, a local tattoo artist that's going to be doing kids' tattoos. Ton of stuff going on. <laughs> You're, gonna be, tired. All one You're gonna be tired. <laughs> <laughs> well, to review, November 30th, it kicks off with, yes, uh, with a great, great idea, Twinkling Forest, which I think will really catch on. And yeah. You've got a hundred and some yep, Just about a hundred trees down. right now. Yep. Oh, that's going to get really big. And in size, two sizes, yep. uh, four feet and six feet, $90 or 110 and they're made right. out of rebar. Yes, so, so they, they are, are strong. Not going they're anywhere. not going anywhere. 
and uh, then you get some lights and mm -hmm. put the lights on it. Uh, and then uh, the next day, Friday the uh, first is um, is the pub crawl. Yep. And a little bar and a tent, and that's going to be in Nautical Park. That's where it's going to start out. So everybody okay. will come to Nautical Mile Park, check in. They'll get their pizza. They'll get. Um, their, their drink, yep. they'll get, if they're the part of the first 150, they'll get their commemorative um, shot glass. We're gonna have raffles, we're gonna have 50-50, so we've got a lot of stuff going on. And then the next day is the big shopping day. Yes, and the big shopping, shopping day, one more thing real quick. Take your time. An amazing uh, member of our chamber has graciously donated a amazing uh, Lakeport Airbnb. Oh, really? So that's oh. gonna be something they're gonna, we're, we're gonna raffle off, okay? So you'll get a weekend there. It's just depending on availability. Yeah. And then tickets for that are 10 bucks. And then along with that is we're gonna give a Marine City gift basket for everything that you'll need to enjoy your weekend there. Oh, wow, that's a yeah. great idea. That's so, cute. Yeah. In Lakeport, Michigan. Yep. All right. You did a great job. Thank you. <laughs> Even though I was stumbling in the beginning here. But, uh, yeah, and, and, and it always is, this is a, I don't know how many years did you say Maritime So days? Maritime, Christmas has been, this is the seventh year. Seventh year, and, and it's the, grown every and year. it's grown and every year. Yep. It's really catching on, yeah. and people are really enjoying yeah. it. And, and, and initially, we did our pub crawl and the Maritime Christmas on the same day. We're trying to make this a weekend event. Right. So, again, we've got the pub crawl on, on Friday. We've got the Maritime Christmas on Saturday. We're looking at what we can do next year to involve for Sunday. So yeah. we've got a lot of ideas. It's Good. just well, they got a good the executive director of the well, chamber. Thank you. I appreciate it. Chris, welcome. Thank you. Uh, we're back with um, some members from the St. Clair Rotary, and they are going to be talking about uh, Salvation Army bell ringing in St. Clair. We'll be right back. Well, you know, it's uh, getting close to Christmas. We see Jerry Mason and his partner in crime, Mr. Ralph Livingston come up to the focus set and they bring the majors from the Salvation Army. Jerry, welcome back. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Ralph, no, well, Mary, glad to be here. Major, nice to meet you. Thank and you. And the major's wife, nice mm -hmm. to meet you, Jennifer. Let's talk about what's going on, Mr. Mason. Well, uh, I believe this is St. Clair Rotary Club's 99th year of ringing the bell with the Salvation really? Army because we're about to celebrate 100 years. That's right. And I think the Army's about to celebrate 140. Uh, next, next year. Next yeah. year. Yeah. So the, as the Army prepares to celebrate 140 years of serving all the citizens of St. Clair County, the entire county, uh, our Rotary Club, of which you are a proud member, right. uh, will celebrate 100 years. And so we're at it again. We'll be ringing the bell at Neiman's Market. Wonderful. Wonderful. How many years uh, have you been involved in this, you and Ralph, as since, committee chairman? Since Probably two, 10 years? Since 2006. I joined yeah. the club in 2006, and I got assigned to the bell ringing committee with this guy right mm -hmm. here, and so we started working Just together. Like glue, you can't get you guys we, apart. We um, <laughs> became close friends. It was like Abbott and Costello. Well, well that's right. I won't touch that one. Yeah. I don't know if anybody else wants to step into it. That's <laughs> the problem. <laughs> we, we just seem to keep it. That's all. Uh, Major, you and your wife have arrived on the Port Huron scene recently. Let's uh, welcome you first, both of you. Thank you. Uh, tell us about that story, and then how did you two both become majors in the, in the uh, Army. Uh, so we've been here since the end of June, uh, just this year. So just about, uh, is it even six months yet? I'd Close. I don't know. It's, it's just a little bit of time here. So uh, uh, previously before that, uh, we were in Chicago for about six years, but we've been Salvation Army officers for, well, he'd, we had our 20-year mark this wow. coming June. Yes. Wow, wonderful. Yeah, so we've been, um, it, we've been in Michigan uh, before at different Salvation Army units in Indiana for a while, um, and as well as Chicago. How often do they move the majors, move the people? So that's really highly dependent on a lot of factors. Um, and we've moved, we've averaged between three, our last appointment was six, so somewhere around there. Mm -hmm. Well, you get to see the world. Yes. That's right, yeah. You get to see the world. And your responsibilities in Port Huron, are you co-majors? Yeah, I mean, we, we are both majors, uh, so we are both what is considered the core officers uh, for 
for the Salvation Army. Uh, well, technically it's in Port Huron, but we do service all of St. Clair County. So uh, it, while we are in, you know, in Port Huron, we really, when we talk about what we do as the Salvation Army, we talk about uh, the people that we help in all of St. Clair County. Well, let's, let's uh, talk about that. Tell me the, the, the numbers for the last year or so. So we just completed our fiscal year. So we're in, uh, end of as of the end of September for the last fiscal year, we served 3,460 people in Wonderful. St. Clair County. Wonderful. So, and um, the services it include? So rental assistance, which would be eviction prevention, our food pantry. Um, we do a large amount of work with utility assistance, making sure people can avoid shutoffs. Um, day camp, youth programs, take kids to residential camps. Pretty much a lot of, a lot. Yeah, it, it keeps you real, real busy. It does. It does. Yep. And Jerry and the Rotarians of uh, St. Clair uh, have been helping you for a long time. Is that kind of help uh, needed this uh, year? Of course, always needed. Uh, the important work that uh, the St. Clair Rotary does uh, for uh, the citizens of St. Clair County. I, like, I do like to say that yes, they're helping out the Salvation Army, but what they're really doing is helping out uh, residents of St. Clair uh, County. So uh, when, when people volunteer uh, to ring the bells, which is one of our main sources of uh, fundraising for our entire year, um, it really helps us to actually bring that, that money in. Uh, if we don't have people ringing the bell, we right. it ha it's less of a chance that we can raise that money. Yeah, so it's a yeah. very important time of year for us. So the theme this year for Christmas campaigns throughout the Salvation Army nationally, <coughs> the theme is called Love Beyond. And it's Love, Love Beyond. Love, Love Beyond, Beyond Christmas. Okay. So while you were ringing the bells and we're doing all of this fundraising, it's the idea that it is actually going to be used year round. Great. Jerry, Ralph, you guys uh, organize a crew. Talk to me about that and how, how the public can help. Well, uh, I create chaos and Ralph organizes it. That's correct. And we put out our spreadsheets. Um, we get different community organizations ringing with us. It's sort of a togetherness at Christmas coming together. Uh, to help others. That's what Christmas is about. So uh, the Sheriff's Department rings with us every year. The Prosecutor's Office rings with us every year. The St. Clair Running Club rings with mm. us every year. We get honor students from St. Clair High School, sometimes from the middle school, and we also get the band. And uh, maybe we'll even get the Salvation Army Band. Sometimes they come <laughs> down and, and play with us. And so we, uh, we, Ralph puts the schedules together and organizes them, and he rides herd and coordinates with the other organizations to get people in the slots that they need to be in, usually from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m., Thursday, Friday, Saturday, December 7th, 8th, and 9th, and then we'll go again 14th, 15th, and 16th. Oh, so and two it, weekends. Yep, we do two weekends at Neiman's Market. When Ralph and I first started, we did a little bit too good of a job, so we picked up an extra weekend of bell ringing. And uh, so you can work with us and coordinate with the St. Clair Rotary Club or go to registertoring.com, I believe, right? That's right. That's directly yeah. the Salvation Army. Right. Uh, so registertoring.com, is that a national thing or just a... It is. It's a, it's a national thing that the Salvation Army uses to uh, all over the place to have people sign up uh, to, to ring bells. And okay. anybody can go there to ring bells. So if, they, if a person in this, this area signs up, the guys at the Rotary will, will know the, the, the we we the actually have We actually have our two weekends booked already. Oh. So those slots will show up filled. So if anybody wants to, to ring on those two weekends, they would need to go through us or through me mm -hmm. and just make contact. We'll and get them into the schedule. Yours is SinclairRotary.org. Right. And then right. on that page, there's a Salvation Army. We uh, have logo. A, we have an organization, yeah. and and, a, and you click on that, and then you'll. The yeah, we can we can up. do it that way, or uh, just they can get a hold of the St. Clair Rotary. We'll get them into a time slot. Um, okay. But uh, it's just a great opportunity for our Rotarians and the people that we associate with to to help out the Salvation mm -hmm. Army to provide time. Uh, that that there's somebody at the kettle because it's right. definitely better for collections to have somebody there smiling, ringing the bell, wishing yes. somebody a Merry Christmas. And it's it's something that the Rotary can do, and we know a lot of people in town, mm -hmm. and uh, it, it's it's helping fund the Salvation Army. It doesn't do any real fundraising for the for the St. Clair Rotary. We just it's all for the St. Clair for the Salvation Army in St. Clair. I County. have two personal stories. One is. I was ringing the bell at Neiman's one year, recently, you know, a few years ago, and a gentleman got out of his car and he brought his dog with him, mm. and he handed me the dog. 
and then he went in and shot. I mean, I, <laughs> I, never, I had never had that happen before. And he came out and thanked me and put some money in the, in the uh, kettle. And the second one was, uh, <laughs> All kinds was of our good friend who was a Rotarian, passed away a few years ago. He, um, of course, now his name escapes me. Uh, he came and brought his trumpet and he played uh, oh. Bob, uh, it'll come to Bob I know. Swain. You're thinking of Bob Swain. Bob okay. Swain, yep. Bob Swain. Bob also brought Bailey's to bell ringing, which you're not supposed <laughs> to do. We, uh, we had to have a, a little talk too with, merry. We had to have a talk with Bob about the uh, the Bailey's. The trumpet was a go, but not the Bailey's. Good job, Jerry. Uh, the dog thing, I'd never had that. Yeah. No, it's amazing how many times people will thank you while yeah. you're there all ringing right. the bell for, for doing it. Okay. And it's like, it's actually a service we all enjoy doing because it's, you know, it does get you in the Christmas it spirit and, and it gets you a chance to, to see some people coming in and out that you might not have seen. You know, Jerry, give me the dates of the, of the two weekends again. I, I will, but I want to say this. I can't imagine Christmas without the Salvation Army. Right. Um, mm -hmm. I always tell my children, if you want to be happy, do something for somebody else. And right. And we'll have our distribution day, I think it's December 21st. Yes. Is that our distribution day? <coughs> we, will, we will literally do Christmas for about 1,254 <coughs> kids. I think it was last year. 1,203 signed up this year, but there'll be more. Okay, so <laughs> right now we have 1,203 kids signed up. There'll be more, plus families. And we do food, clothes, toys, bikes. I put on a Santa Claus hat. That's I mean, scary. It's a, it's a blast to help people, and it feels so good. And what I want to say about the bell ringing before we talk about the shifts is the stories people tell you. Every time I ring, every year at least one person will come up, and sometimes these are very wealthy people, and they'll say, you know, my dad had a heart attack. We didn't have any money. We were going to lose our yep. apartment. We were not going to have Christmas, and the Army did Christmas for us, and they'll throw a pretty nice-sized check. Uh, in the kettle and so people remember what the army does and ringing the bell means a lot to people because it does touch lives right. and save lives. Now the dates. Uh, we'll be there Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We don't ring on the Lord's Day which is Sunday but Thursday, Friday, Saturday, December 7th, 8th and 9th, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Then we'll come back again the following Thursday, Friday, Saturday which I think is the 14th, 15th and 16th. Yep. We'll be at Neiman's and uh, say hello, introduce yourself, and if you want to ring, come and ring with us. Okay, Ralph. Uh, I just I think it's still it's a great opportunity for the Rotary to help uh, you know service the community in St. Clair County, and uh, we've been glad to do it, and hopefully we'll go for many more years. Mm -hmm. Service above self. There's always Major. another weekend. Yep. <laughs> Major, have you got any final thoughts? Um, no, I'm just very grateful to the Rotary and all of their contributions, and groups like them are what make it work. Yeah. yeah. Yep, and again, we, we can't do this. We can't do what we do without uh, help from the community. So we are very thankful for groups like uh, Rotary and the individuals who sign up uh, to ring throughout St. Clair County throughout the year. If the control room will throw up that uh, little surprise here, we've got uh, a, a Salvation Army band in, in Times Square mm -hmm. from a couple of years ago, and they'll play us out. Hey. Well, that's about it for this edition of the uh, Focus Program. Thanks for watching. Till next time, I'm Paul Dingaman. See you soon. Good job. Thanks for watching Focus with Paul Dingaman. Focus is produced at the CTV Community Television Studios in St. Clair. For over 20 years, CTV has captured the moments that matter to our community.